Well, once again, it's my pleasure to be with you on our daily dose. It's always a joy and honor to be with you. And I'm so grateful for the blessings of God that allow me to do such things as these. As far as my help goes the last few weeks, I don't believe I've updated you at all on that. Things have been going very well. As a matter of fact, last week I was able to go to the doctor on Thursday, received great news from my heart cath and biopsy from that day. And that is once again, there's no rejection. My medications are all in order. And a few quotes from the doctor were such things as these to say, number one, your recovery is amazing and you are well ahead of the curve. And so I appreciated that. Of course, I feel that. I know that. But I'm grateful for it. It's because of your prayers and God's providence. And I continue to be able to do what I do. As a matter of fact, the last few weeks, uh, my daily dose is continuing to slow down, it seems. It's not been so daily, as I say. And part of that's because I'm just lazy, I guess. Uh, no, not really. I hope that's not the case. Most of it's really because I'm getting very, very busy. I'm able to preach a lot in the pulpit on the Lord's Day. I'm out of town most of the time for that. And so I'm blessed to be able to do that. But at the same time, I'm still healing. I'm still improving each day in my health. And so I pray that that will continue as it already has. Now, with that being said, I want to focus your mind on something a bit more spiritual. But let me begin by illustrating it like this. Imagine that you're a person who has within your possession a $100 bill, maybe in your pocket. But you don't have that $100 bill there for days or weeks or even months. No, you have it there for decades. You do nothing with it. You go into many a market, many a store, many places where you could spend it, but you do nothing with it. You pass by many people who could use it more than you. You've been involved in several charities, places where you could have donated the money or even given it as a gift. But again, you've done nothing with it. You know, it is the case that every child of God, one who is a Christian, a member of the Lord's church, they have that same possession within their hands. Not a proverbial $100 bill, mind you, but they have a great treasure, a gift within them that they're simply not using. As a matter of fact, Jesus said in Luke 6 and verse 62, Why call upon me, Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? So many times as Christians, we have the knowledge, we have the wisdom that we gain from God's word. But perhaps we've even hid it within our hearts. Psalm 119 and verse 11. But if we go about and do nothing with that, friends, we fail and we fail miserably. As a matter of fact, I want to share a passage with you from the book of 1 Thessalonians in chapter 2. And the reading begins really in verse 10. The Bible here says, And ye are witnesses, and God also, how holy and justly and unblameably we behaved ourselves among you that believed. As you know how we exhorted and comforted and charged every one of you as a father doth his children, that ye would walk worthy of God, who hath called you in the kingdom of his glory. Now here's the key verses, verse 13 and following. It says, For this cause we thank God without ceasing, because when you received the word of God, ye heard it of us, and ye received it not as the word of men, but as it is in the truth, the word of God, which effectually, watch it, worketh also in you that believe. Friends, when the word of God, this Bible, the New Testament, when it is received within man's heart, whether it be through our studies or someone else assisting us in our studies or teaching us, whatever it is, when the word of God is placed within the child of God's heart, he or she must do something with it. Friends, and we may put a $100 bill in our pocket. We may carry any amount of money if we choose to do so in our pocket and on our possession for decades and years and do nothing with it, and that's altogether our choice. But what we do with the great treasure of the Word of God is not left up unto us. Friends, those who are most faithful, those who are obedient to God's will, are those who do something with God's Word. They go about and they teach others. They go about and they make changes in their own lives. They make improvements, advancements, and they become better Christians every day than they have in the past. Friends, it's my prayer today that as you go about throughout your day, that you have God's Word within your heart. Access it through study. But when you find the treasures therein, don't be like a man with a $100 bill he's had for decades. Take the word of God and give it to someone of whom it can help. This has been your Daily Dose, and I pray that you've been encouraged.